everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're out outside, beautiful blue sky day, not a cloud in sight, looking really nice. Today's a perfect day, so we're riding up to the dollar store, it's about a five mile bike ride from my house, so we're gonna bike up there and get some nice aquarium products from the dollar store for a very nice budget amount of money. So let's stop wasting time and head up to the dollar store. Here's kind of a cool little pond back here. You see that goldfish right there? Don't release your pets, guys. He's not looking too good. Gas can swear on the surface. See that bullfrog? We bought 10 items and spent $10.89 on them, including sales tax. So everything there was actually a dollar, and we got some pretty good bargains, I think, and I'm excited to test some of them out. So let's jump right into the first item. So this item right here is probably familiar to anyone who watches like MD Fish Tanks or any other YouTubers like that. This is basically just a little jug that you can use to put substrate in and hold a bunch of stuff in it. You can put fish in here just to transport them from tank to tank. You can store plants in here. This has so many uses when it comes to having a fish tank or a fish room. So this is a nice little item that I could get for a dollar. There's actually a whole bunch of different sizes, but I opted for the larger one just because I have a bunch of different tanks and I figured uh, if I'm spending a whole dollar on this, I figured I might as well get the biggest one I can. But Item number two is this strainer. So I think it's probably, uh, this is just advertised as a mess strainer. Probably like a tea strainer uh, is what this would be used for. But actually what I would use this for is I'd put little bits of gravel in here, sand, because this is a super fine mesh right here. And then if you're doing like detail pebbles, you don't want to get uh, too many of them. You just put them in here, wash them off, and they'll be super clean. And it's a small enough mesh that even sand probably won't come out of this. The only thing that would go out is dirty water. So you could easily clean uh, gravel or sand with something like this. Uh, it's just going to be in small quantities, but I really uh, like these things. And it was just a buck, as everything else in here is. Because if you go to the Dollar Tree, everything is actually going to be a dollar. It's the 99 cent stores that you have in like uh, California. Sometimes everything isn't a dollar, but in Dollar Tree, everything is a dollar, so everything here is going to be one dollar. Next up, we've got a set of wire brushes. So it comes with uh, three different ones, actually. It comes with one that is a, what I would call more like a, like a finer uh, brush, and then one that's actually a wire, and then one that's just a little uh, heavier and this would be to clean algae off of rocks a super simple uh, Setup right here and you get three of them for a dollar. So what is that like? It's just like 30 cents a piece I give or take a few cents. So really not that bad So this is actually a pretty good deal and if you guys are going to be cleaning rocks at all I would definitely pick some of these up and of course if you go into the dollar store grab some of these next we've got a, a set of tweezers. So this is a three piece set of tweezers. It's got a one that is bent, in, like a curve right here, 
straight and then one with like a larger grip at the end. And the reason you'd use these, you could plant plants with these, you could feed fish uh, bloodworms with these. Uh, there's so many uses with these when it comes to aquascaping and maintaining a fish tank. And this is a great uh, thing to buy. Again, probably like 30 cents a piece for each of these guys. And I paid, what, like $12 for a set of my aquascaping uh, tweezers. So uh, mine were a lot longer, but you don't actually need the super long tweezers. And these will work out really well for a nano tank. And then we've got super glue gel. So this is I bought the gel kind because... The liquid kind isn't the best when it comes to sticking stuff to rocks, but if you're gluing like a dubious blue phalandra onto rocks, you can use super glue gel, and that is a super uh, helpful thing to use. And there's just a whole bunch of other things, like if you're building DIY lighting systems, um, we're actually going to be building something else later in this video, and I will be using this. So many things around a fish room that you could use super glue gel for, and you get two tubes from this for just the buck, so why not? Next we've got is tiny little brush so this is like a craft brush and they call it a stencil brush i don't know whatever that means but i mean it also is like the wish.com but you're actually getting the items so this would be to uh spread out sand to clean off rocks as he's setting up a uh tank if you guys ever watch sober design he uses a fan brush and just a brush all over all the time these are really good for distributing sand in specific locations in a tank. Next, we've got a pair of detail scissors. So these are stainless steel, so you can get these wet. I would recommend uh, drying them off after each use. But these would be great for trimming a plant because they're actually very sharp scissors. And they're tiny little uh, openings. And this would be perfect for trimming up your plants if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a expensive pair of aquascaping scissors. Yes, they are hot pink, but makes them easier to find, you know? There's an upside to that. Upside to everything, guys. Next up is a razor blade. So this might seem like a strange item, but it does come with five extra blades, and I'm pretty sure this is stainless steel. And what you use this for, you can clean tough watermarks off with this, you can clean algae off the glass with this if you're really careful. And you can use this to help when you're siliconing a new tank. So, one thing that uh, I've realized around a fish room is some obscure items like a razor blade or like pliers or stuff like that. You never realize how much you need them until you actually need them. So, it's always great to have one of these on hand. And mine just broke, so I'm glad that I got one of these. These next items go together in conjunction. So, this is a picture frame. And these are some, like, tacks. So what we're going to be doing is building a lid out of this, actually. And I'll show you guys how to do this in this video. So we're, what we're going to start off with, we're just going to crack open this lid, or this lid, this uh, picture frame. And if I'm not mistaken, this should be a glass frame. So peel this off. Got these very nice generic pictures. And then flip this over. And move these guys out. Because all we want, pretty much, out of this is the piece of glass that it comes with, if it is glass. We remove these, and if you're that kind of person, you can have these two just beautiful pictures of random people on your wall, so that's a bonus. Then we come out of this, and we've got a very thin pane of glass. What you could use this for is a lid for an aquarium. So then this is where this would come into play. So these are little tacks, uh, push pins. And it comes with 80 of them. What I'm thinking is that we get one of these. Let me get my wire cutter. Alright, well, my uh, tool kit is really unorganized, so I'll have to just use the cutters on these pliers. I'm just gonna cut that off. Uh, I have no idea where that went. And then I'm gonna file this down. And I'm assuming that most people are gonna at least have some pliers on hand. I mean,. I've never been to a house that doesn't have some pliers, so what I'm trying to do is just get this last bit of metal out, so I'm going to work on that for a second. Alright, well, I found my wire cutters, so, and it came with 80 of these, so if I mess this one up, that's okay. So, basically just trying to get the metal off of this, and a file would work really nice right here, but I just don't have one on hand. Let me finish getting this cut. There we go, so now we have this little ball with this little flat on the bottom so then what I can do is just use that super glue 
super glue it to the lid, and then you got a little handle to pull up your glass lid. So I have a tank that is a six by six inch cube, and so I'm thinking I can do a six inch by five inch lid so that there's space left for, you know, actually now I think about it, uh, it's gonna be a no filter setup, so I can do a six by six inch uh, lid, and then I'll lay that on top, and all you need to do this is some very generic glass cutting tools, like a little glass cutter and these glass cutting pliers. Uh, I have these on hand, but if you're a fish keeper, eventually you're going to want to have these if you're going to build a tank. So I recommend just picking them up. I'm going to show you guys how to cut this glass, and then we're going to measure we're going to measure it correctly, cut the glass, and then use it as a lid for that tank. So I'm basically going to show you guys how to build a lid. So this could use for be used on any kind of uh, tank, actually. Just make sure you find uh, a piece of glass that is pretty substantially a uh, size bigger than your tank. They have a lot of pretty large sized pieces of glass at the dollar store, so or at least picture frames. So just choose a frame that's bigger than your tank's lid, and then I'll show you guys how we can cut this. So I know it's kind of a change of scenery, but I was kind of getting bored of that same old place, so I hope you guys stick with me. And also I have to get uh, this glass cut and I have to do that outside so you know. So we're going to be using this picture frame. You can get them in all different sizes at the dollar store. And we're going to be cutting this and making it into a lid. So I'll show you guys how we're going to do this in a second. But this is just a piece of glass. Literally we just bought this for the glass. So basically we're going to disassemble this and just literally just use this painted glass on the front.
And those are a bunch of supplies that you can use on your aquarium that you can purchase at the dollar store. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let me know in the comments if you did. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.